Hello, everyone. My name is DJ Neeks, and I would like to welcome you to my playthrough of a game that, once again, developed by Quantic Dreams and David Cage, and a game that is a little bit more... probably supernatural and over the top compared to Heavy Rain, whereas Heavy Rain was kind of the anomaly, because that was the one that was actually kind of normal and down to earth, whereas once again, we go be go opposite that with a title by David Cage that kind of takes us into the realm of interesting possibilities, um, somewhat of a just let's suppose just for f make making fun or ma rather let's make believe you know things like that in a title called beyond two souls what is this game about what is it like well it once again brings back the cinematic uh type of narr narrative story driven gameplay from heavy rain where it's kind of limited more so to like dialogue choices um, there will be times where you actually get to take control of the protagonist and do some things, um, but not that much. Um, obviously, some quick time, more so like, you know, like press the button prompt and such, but it also introduces a certain mechanic which has to do with the story. And what is the premise? Well, imagine if your entire life, ever since you were a little child, you were bonded to somebody. But not necessarily in the way you might think, and not necessarily just to anyone like another person. But imagine if, let's say, some kind of entity, like like maybe your shoulder angel. You know, like, rather than it just being like a little tiny angel that sits on your shoulder, but rather it be like a ghost-like figure that is like bonded to you by like a tether. You know, like, kind of like a cord that you're literally bonded to it. And that he gets to just be with you at all times and either help you or sometimes do things that you don't want him to do. Where sometimes you could be come across as like he's an like an animal that's like uncontrollable. Or at times when you're alone and really no one wants anything to do with you is essentially your only friend. The only one who you know is with you and will never leave you. That's kind of what this game kind of has to deal with. It stars some notable actors in Hollywood. As you can see, the face of the actress Ellen Page plays our protagonist, Jody. And it also stars Willem Dafoe, who you might remember as the Green Goblin from the original Spider-Man movie. I mean, it's a pretty interesting story. You know, and it and just like Heavy Rain, and this is why I do like these types of games, there's multiple choices, and there's multiple endings. There's branching paths. Well, somewhat. Um, but I just like these types of games where it gives you multiple choices, and based on your choices, you get multiple different endings, uh, not just for yourself, but for the world that you're in, as well as characters around you. I just love that. So, one of the criticisms that this game was given by people who didn't like it was that they thought the story was weird because it did this thing where the story was t was would jump you from time period to time period in her life where at one point you're w w as her as an adult and then all of a sudden the next scene you're back to her as a little girl and people didn't like that. They wanted a more chronological story. Well... For the PS4 remastered version of this game, they added a remixed order, which is a chronological order, so to appease those who actually wanted to do that. I, however, had no problem with that, because I don't mind that type of storytelling if it's a, done in a way where by the end of the story, it makes you go, wow, you know, like when they... they where if they organize it right and towards the end it gives you like a big twist or a big reveal that all of a sudden puts all these different things together and it makes you go, oh, now it makes sense, you know? I love twists like that. I love storytelling like that. So I am going to be playing it the way that it was originally intended and released.
And yes, we're going to be doing, a, you know, I only, it automatically starts you in the story, so I had to go jump to the main menu. So, here we go. And unfortunately, there's no option to turn down the music, so I, was this, born I really hope this doesn't get copyright, but here we go. I'm turning the sound back up. The ability to see what no human being has ever seen before. Despite the option that it won't let me turn down the it's music. It's up in my head. The images, the sounds, the smell. And just like Heavy Rain, as you can see, the visuals and the graphics of this game are incredible. Put things in order right up to this moment. Remember who I am. If I had to say how it all began, I might just as well start here. Which is kind of odd, because obviously he doesn't start here, but whatever. In the middle of nowhere. Was there an accident? I mean, if you don't like this this way of storytelling where it jumps back and forth from, you know, one period of time to another, I can understand, but I hope you guys will uh, get to see it for what it is, you know, and, and hope you guys can sit back and enjoy it. You must have family. If not, you know, I would Friends. definitely recommend picking this game up. Some you know, definitely recommend really buying it. You can get it with a bundle along with Heavy Rain. And you can be able to play the remixed order where it's a chronological. Don't talk much, do you? When you've been through what I've been through. Well, if you don't help me, I can't help you. It's sometimes hard to come up with the right words. Yeah, good luck, pal. Is that a scar? Is that recent? I wouldn't touch that. Yeah. We've got to stop them. They have no idea what they're up against. Tell them to wait until I get there. Get back to them immediately, you hear me? You've got to stop them. Otherwise, I, Norman Osborne, will have you all fired. Get Peter Parker there, and make him stay there until I arrive. They're coming. Who was she talking to? Uh-oh. Full-on SWAT team. Why would a full SWAT team come for her? The cops there are like, what the heck? Where is she? They're like, what? Why are you guys here for her? What the heck's going on? And wasn't Willem Dafoe's character telling them to leave, like to get out of there? So he's scared for them. He's not scared for the girl. He's scared for the SWAT team. Why would he be scared for the SWAT team? What possible reason could validate that fear? <laughs> Is he too late? Yep. He's too late. Oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, I should mention that this game is rated mature. So just like with Heavy Rain and, even, and The Last of Us, think of it as you're watching an R-rated movie. It has language, it has violence, and it can have a couple of situations that could be a bit sensual. And don't worry if there is, I, if I recall, there is no actual nudity in this game. Um, if there was, though, I would edit it out, so don't worry about that. But yeah, be ready to see some, maybe some blood, maybe hear a few inappropriate words. And... Hope you can just lay back and feel like you're enjoying a good, well-told R-rated movie. 
<laughs> the only one left is that cop. He's like, dude, you, done. you don't want to know what just happened here. She did all this. Or was it her? The experiment. So you see the prologue broken. The experiment. So yeah, you'll see it. It's brighter. So that will give you an idea of where we are in the story. Some people don't didn't like this format of the storytelling. I didn't I didn't mind it, because like I said, by the end of it, I thought it was a cool, well told story. I mean heck, maybe I'll try out the other way on my own at some ah, there point. You are. How you doing today? Just to see how different it might be. <laughs> I hate to bother you when you're playing at all. Aw, look at her. She's so cute. She looks adorable. And I gotta say, that's that's really good to make it look like uh look like a very little girl version of uh, Ellen Page. So yeah, there's the... Uh... Oh. I had to move my right thumbstick oh, to You're interact with that. Time to play later. Ah, fine. Okay, so I don't have to press R2 to walk like in heavy rain. <laughs> but yeah, the... Uh... The facial recognition software and every, everything in this game is just fantastic. Ah, uh, but I want... I know you're tired, Jody, but we really have to go. So I bet you're wondering... Where is she living? Why, is she, why does it look like she's living in a... Some kind of special facility? Well... You'll find out That's soon enough. Way, Jody. I love the look with her eyes there. She rolled her eyes like, Oh, I know. Jeez. Give me a break. All right, I'm a little girl. Come on. I just want to... I just want to look around my room and play with my toys, for goodness sakes. Come on. Oh. There you go. Play guitar. Dang. Yep. Motion controls with my controller, just like in Heavy Rain. You can tell Quantic Dream and David Cage definitely had a hand in that. Or in this game. Since it's the same thing. What is on that TV? I may have to turn it off. Be like, turn off that weird whatever that is. Ooh. Oh, uh, so that way I can look at something. I'm trying to work on her artist artistic skills. Oops. What is this? Alright. Is it can I turn it off? Nope. Alright, let's just leave. I have no idea whether or not that could for some reason get copyrighted by uh Quantic Dream or whoever, but you never know. Alright, Nathan's waiting for us. These days on YouTube you never know. Mm-hmm. Well, hold on. I want to take a look. Oh, look at that. They have a... So this is what it is. They have cameras in her room constantly watching her. They have that... Come on, Jody. That one-sided mirror there that they can look in and see what she, what's going on in her room. They got coffee, computer, everything. All right. He seems nice enough. <laughs> He's like, lead the way. You obviously know where to go. Look at this. Looks like a. Is, like a, is this a hospital? Huh. Hi. Hi. Can I have some? Don't you want to give some to a, little, to a cute little girl? No? <laughs> Alright, fine. Hi. Hi, other doctors. I'm right behind you. Relax. Hello, precious. Don't you look pretty today? Aw. 
She is pretty cute. It's gonna rain this weekend. We got a lot of rain this year. I suppose that's Go true. on. Here we are. No, I haven't. Hello there. How are you? Won't even look at her. Come on, Jody. Hold up, hold up. Hurry, Jody. <laughs> I love her reactions. She's like, ah, oh, fine. Babysitting detail, huh, Cole? <laughs> Very yeah. funny, Phil. Keep moving. Huh. <laughs> Come back here. I'm waiting for you, honey. Nope. Game won't let you walk around. <laughs> uh, I just love that. I <laughs> that amuses me way too much. Hey, Babysitting duty. How's your Forget you, Phil. Pretty good. Hi, Willem Dafoe. So is it bad that I know I don't I don't really remember you for anything else other than being the Green Goblin? <laughs> okay. We're gonna put Nothing this against him. Just obviously that's how big of a fan of like Spider-Man I am. Just like a crown, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, now you're a little princess. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think she feels much like a princess. Everything's gonna be fun. I'm right next door if you need me, okay? I mean, I've said this about actors who play characters in superhero movies, and this goes for the who play villains as well. Once you play that superhero character or that villain, you are that character for the rest of your career. Hey, Jody, can you hear me? Because we will always remember you for that. Yes, I hear you. Okay, let's start. Kathleen is next door. And she has the same cards as you. Uh -huh. We're gonna get her to choose one and see if you can tell us which one she chose. You think you can do that? Sure. Good. All right, let's go for it. Interesting. Interesting that how they would do this. Oh, triangle. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think this has to do with the difficulty I chose. There we go. Now I can free roam as uh, as uh as whatever this is. I I almost said Did I almost say how could I almost say it's name if I don't know what this is? But as you can see, I am something. I wonder what this is. I am and it's little, literally tethered to her. Alright, so now I can free roam as this thing. Because that's part of the fun of playing this, uh, this thing. This character. Aha. Uh -huh. The star card, huh? Oh, triangle. Ah, so now you switch back to, to, the, to Jody, and then you select the card that she has. Next card. And then I switch back. Woo. Ah, the square card. Next card. I mean, this seems pretty simple. I don't know why they think, ooh, could this be the day she gets it one wrong? I don't know how. I mean, what or what the big deal would be. What this tells them. Perhaps she's psychic. Or not. Very <laughs> good, Jody. Let's try something else. Okay. There's some building blocks on the table in the other room. You think you can make them fall over? No problem. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Hold L1. And then... Boom! Huh. Jody. Anything else in the room you can move? Knock them over. Uh, yeah. Let's see. How about the water? She's getting scared. How about the papers? Boom! 
she's getting terrified. She's getting pretty scared. Don't want to go too crazy. Oh. The camera. Lights. Can we move? Oh. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, but I'm done. Okay, Jody, honey, the experiment is over. It's locked. The door's locked! No, Kathleen is not locked. It's probably get just stuck. Give here. us a moment. Get me out of here now! Calm down, Kathleen. Go get the door. <laughs> I've already switched back to her. I did stop. Leave it. I didn't... Don't touch anything. <laughs> okay, yeah, I didn't do anything. Need, the experiment is over. It will never be over. If I wanted to, I could have, like, tried to wreck everything in that room. But, not this time. She called it Iden. You notice that? Iden. You and percentage of other players have taken these paths. Somebody else? Stop the experiment. Obedience. Unplayed path left Kathleen alone. Huh. Interesting. Now this is something they did not have in the PS3 version of this game. This is new to me. Huh. Alright, next. The Embassy. Whoa! Where are they? I guess she's an adult. Who is this guy? Look at how she's dressed. Uh, dress. This dress sucks. Ha! <laughs> I knew I should have worn something else. Dress is perfect. <laughs> I was about to say. Ha! <laughs> That's a very... None. <laughs> they look great. Yeah, you look great. Who yes. are these people? Yeah, good question. Yeah, diplomats, politicians, businessmen, spies. It's the usual embassy crowd. But the most important thing, act natural. If anyone speaks to you, you just smile. Oh, are they so undercover? You want natural, or do you want me to smile? Ha! <laughs> I didn't know you had a sense of humor. Ha! <laughs> Only when I'm scared to death. Brian, I'm delighted you could attend. Always a um, pleasure, Sheikh Ahmed. Oh, it's a sheik. I uh, would like you oh, to meet this my assistant. Is clearly, is someone very important. I was unaware that American diplomacy was undertaken with such disarming charm. Oh, aren't you swamp? Mine, Elizabeth. Jerry, huh. I give you back your host. We'll talk later on that. Until then, Ryan. Ryan. Hmm. Why do I have the feeling this is not going to be the last time we see this guy? He hates me. Well, time huh. is imagining my head on a stick. He found you charming. Oh, so he's that kind of chic. Good to know. Okay, I'm gonna shake some hands, blend in, find some more quiet. You know what you have to do. I do? Uh, ambassador. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Eyes. Wait a minute. Ryan, come back here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I need to find a quiet place. A quiet place. Is that the chic? No. no. Not now. It will attract attention. Oh, hi, Jody. So, if you notice, if I try and go far away from her, I start to hurt. So, Aiden can't go too far away from Jody, otherwise, he'll start to get hurt. What? I'm trying to think, is there anything else I can actually do? Can she speak to the Sheik? I oh, see you've I guess so. Our mutual friend. <laughs> a drink, perhaps? We should get to know each other better. Maybe later. Hmm. As you wish. Later it is? Uh huh, we'll see about that. Alright, where's Ryan? Can I, like, ask him to remind me what I'm supposed to do? Oh, oh. Oh, hello. May as well have a quick drink. Nice little sip of a drink. 
Alright. Trying to look around. I need to find a quiet place. Ah, oh, of course. The ladies' room. Of course. Where is Ryan? Clayton. Everything okay? Help. Yeah. No, no, it's not. I'm... I'm really nervous. Follow the plan, and everything will be fine. Just find somewhere to hide and do what you have to do. Okay. Right. So basically, just go to the ladies' room, and we'll figure it out from there. Of course, why would I consider ever think about going to the ladies' room? I mean, no one knows. Does anyone know what happens in there? No. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I'm a guy. I have no idea what happens in there. See if that guy's like, I wonder what's going on in there. And of course, the ladies' room, of course, looks much nicer than the guys' room does. Vanity. You are so vain. Alright, so that's definitely a hiding place. No one's gonna bother her in here. Alright, now what? Oh, whoops, whoops. Take it easy, Jody, take it easy. Hayden. Hayden, are you ready? Yeah? What's up? There's a large painting in one of the rooms upstairs. Behind it is a safe. Uh -huh. The documents we're looking for are inside. I see. But there are guards and cameras, so you have to be careful. You got it? I gotcha. And yes, I do enjoy the idea. Oh my gosh, look at her. Wait, look at her eyes. Oh, hold on a second. So, some of the buttons, if I press R... R1, I go up. If I press R2, I go down. Interesting. But look at her eyes. They, like, go white when she's, like, looking through Aiden. Oh, th those ladies cleared out of here. So I have to get into the Sheik's room and find a safe, huh? Well, first off, I have to find a way out of this bathroom. Where where's the door? Ah, there's the door. Hurry, Aiden. Let's see. It hurts like hell when you're too far away. Hello. You know what? Perhaps who better to help me open that safe than the Sheik? Wait, can he possess the Sheik? He can possess the Sheik. Oh! <laughs> this is crazy. If anyone notices, we're dead. Don't worry, Jody. This is perfect. Be careful, lady. No one's gonna you question. Touch other people when you're controlling someone. Don't worry, I won't. But no one's gonna question the Sheik going into his room office and opening his safe. No one's gonna question that, even if they see it on the computers or on the security cameras. So time to mess no around. one's gonna care. Look for an office. The I am. The I am. And watch out for the guards and the video surveillance. Shouldn't really matter with the video surveillance. There's the security room. But the surveillance shouldn't really matter that much. I mean, why would they care? It's the Sheik. He can go and do whatever he... Go to wherever he wants and do whatever he wants, right? An office. Yep. The portrait of the Sheik. Yep, this has to be it. This is the place. Quite an interesting power that Aiden has here. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. Somewhere. To move the painting. Find Let's it, see. Nope, not there. No, not there. Nope, not there. Okay. Ah, perhaps here. Not there. Ah, there's the switch. 
Open sesame! Even if this, the guards saw him do this on the security camera, why would they care? It's their sheik opening his own safe. So why would it matter to them? I'm just saying. Let's hope these are the documents that we're apparently looking for. Okay, now don't move. Alright. Oh gosh, she's bleeding from the nose. She's looking through Aiden to see what's on there and writing it all down. Oh my gosh, this... This cannot be good for Jody. I mean, just look at how she looks while she's doing this. Yeah, that has to be painful. Whoa! What are you doing in the ladies' room, pal? Get out of here! Yeah, that's what she's saying. She's like, what the heck are you doing in the ladies' room? Get out of here, you pervert! I want to hear it. Get out of here. Um, hi? Um. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I can't do anything to help you. Uh, so she must be helping us, obviously. Alright, so I guess she got what we were looking for. She'll take care of it, because Jody is... Not really feeling too great right now. That really took a lot out of her, as you can tell. She looks like she is not doing well. Well, before she steps out of here, she has to compo like try and help clean herself up because she has got to get rid of that nosebleed. She can't walk out there looking with a bleeding nose. It's gonna draw attention. That's right, Jody. Clean yourself up. Atta girl. Alright. Yeesh. Can't switch to Aiden. I press the button, nothing happens, so. No, I think Aiden's tired. He's like, no, don't make me do that again. Let's just go. Let's uh let's get Ryan. Yeah. Be like, Ryan, let's get out of here. Alright. Don't touch me! I go now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving. So as you can imagine, there's multiple ways to do that. If you had not taken control of the Sheik, I got the trophy possessive spy. Up, ah, see? Okay, so now I get what this is saying. So because it says unplayed path because I haven't done that yet and so it's not going to show me what it is so finish the mission uh finish the mission with possession finish the mission with chic only and there's multiple ways you can do that you could do that with just Aiden if you want to um if you don't take possession of the chic he will notice you guys leaving early and he'll be like hmm so okay so now i understand what this is saying okay so this is cool that it's actually showing you uh, helping show you the multiple different paths and choices that you can do to do this mission this uh, this mission plus for each of these memories Okay, this seems cool Up oh, back in time the party So this was before the embassy and after the experiment, so I'm guessing this is probably when she's around her teenage years Yep, she's a teenager What's or close to her teenage should... years Maybe I shouldn't go Jody, you've been begging me for weeks. You're not going to back up now. I don't know anybody there. They might all hate me and... This dress is awful. Man, she does not like her dresses, no matter which new dress she wears. That's the second time she's already said, Man, There's this no dress is awful. Friend. It's just a birthday party. Oh, gosh. Sure everybody will like you. Oh, they're all going to hate me. This is going to go awful. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> yep. You pretty much already know how this is going to go. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Jody. 
Ah! Uh, how is this birthday party going to go for Jody and Aiden? We'll find out when we come back. Stay tuned. <laughs>